Welcome back to another part of The Legend of Heroes, Trials of Cold Steel 4. If you do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. Alrighty then, so we are back into the game. We opened that chest already. We didn't have much uh, playtime when we... Uh... Hit the perimeter. Right. Each of these sectors connects back to the central room. From what our little hacker friend told us, there should be a shortcut around here. We didn't have too much playtime in the first part because there was so much dialogue happening. Okay, we will just uh, normal attack, I guess. We have linked. Moving out. Ha! There. Let's what the heck was that? It's my turn. Fire! I've got this. Yes, you did. Not bad, if I say so myself. Yay! We get overkill points? Okay. No boxes to loot here. Let us do it. Okay, I guess these guys we shouldn't just attack. Uh, let's see. Arts, maybe? Arts? Needle shot? Let's do this thing. Arts activate! It's my turn! Uh, arts again. Flame? Causing toxic smoke? Arcus activate! It's my turn! <laughs> we have so much arts happening here. Rains down massive lightning strikes. <laughs> sure. I see you. Moving out. That was a lot of damage, bro. Oh, we're healing. There. It's my turn. Yeah. Now's the time. Okay. What? Ready to go. Let's go. Dead. And that's how you do it. We're getting our loots, I guess. And experience, that's good. So I don't know much about this game yet. Uh, the door is locked. Okay, uh, we need a key. Not the classiest way to get around, but it'll do. Well, maybe we'll find something ritzier than an emergency access ladder next time. <laughs> yeah. Woman. It's an elevator or you need to carry her. That's, that's pretty much how it works. Am I right or am I right? We have another fight up here, I think. Ooh. This one looks tough. Watch yourselves. This will be tough. I just said that. About S crafts. S crafts are special crafts which deal immense damage, but consumes all the user CP in the process. Uh, at least 100 CP is required to use the S-Craft. 
uh, though its power is amplified when the user has 200 CP available. S crafts uh, can be used instantly by pressing the R1 and uh, uh, directional uh, buttons. Uh, regardless of the user's placement. Okay. S crafts powerful combine, combine unique that consumes all your CP. It's pretty much what you just read. Everyone, do it. I got it. Ha! 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 Excuse me, 30,000 damage? Well, I mean, why are you asking me to target? It ends here! Tol Rising Sun! Dude, this damage. Man, you guys were super cool! Oh, thank you. I'm born this way. <laughs> By the way, uh, the cons uh, the conscription already started the c uh, the craft spell. Yes, no sooner uh, had officially announced that the campaign, uh, then draft cards started going out. Uh, the governor general's uh, office already had a list of conspiracies ready, based on the latest census. Uh, the one they took uh, from the 8 uh, Metri Metropolis plan, right? Uh, it provided the government uh, with information on material assets, as well as uh, population data, and the number of men eligible to, to be cra uh, drafted. Yeah, I gotta admit, the Empire really benefits uh, from such calcul calculating sys uh, sys what? statesmen. Such as Reefers, Albera, Alberia, and the blood of the Iron Chancellor, Goliath Osborne. Are they, are they've appropriate, what? They've a, a pre, appropriated Ouroboros. A uh, phantasmal blaze plan uh, for their own purposes. It seems like Rufus and Osborne were in the opposite factions in the Imperial government. But I guess they've, uh, they're working together now. Yeah, Rufus was really one of the Osborne's handpicked aides. Uh, the primary one, in fact. Uh, they're called the Ironbloods. The Chancellor got Iron Bloods in the int uh, Intelligence Division and the uh, Railway Metallery Military Police too. There we go. <laughs> Chloe even knows one of them. It's a me, Mario. Right, that guy who granted, who graduated uh, from the Royal Academy. He's particularly a living legend there. He's one of the school's most accomplished students council presidents. Despite having its uh, abysmal attendance records. Ha, uh, I remember him. Uh, that's the red haired guy, right? That's him. All right. Major Elector Ar Arundel, also known as the Scarecrow. 
I saw him talking with uh, Crow Princess Claudia at the trade conference. He and the other Iron Bloods really had our number during oper uh, Operation Birdcage. I'm curious to know uh, the part they uh, played in what happened in Heimdall. Heimdall. Yeah, it'd be a good idea to dig into that. It, it could give us uh, more insight into what Osborne's planning. Uh, we owe it to Oliver to get to the bottom of this. Alrighty then. While they're getting to the bottom of it, I'm gonna get to the top of this tower. What are you doing? Give him hell. Yes. You. Your turn. You haven't done yours yet. Now, let us begin. Oh, holy right of Adios. Come forth from the heavens and shine upon us. I've got uh, this! <laughs> Let's go! The chick with the pistol is healing. Okay, now we know. Right. Yeah. I think we know that now, yes. Yeah. Oh. Ready to go! Yeah, let's see, uh... Crafts. Crafts! Uh, press triangle to perform crafts. Yes, it costs CP. Uh, by dealing the received damage, you'll be gaining CP. Crafts are special combat skills unique to each character. Okay. Look at them apples, man. Let's do this! Keep it up! Thanks! Back off! Let's go! So, CP. Barricade. It's maybe barrage, actually, right? It's my turn. Ah! I've got this. Do you though? <laughs> Doesn't look like you got this, dude. Don't give in. Thanks. I've got this. You just said that, and you didn't have it. Let's see here, Twin Shadow Fang. Let's do this! Hey, you got it now. If I say so myself. That is very good, very good. Oh, is that an elevator? Mm-hmm. It can take us all the way up. All the way up. I thought we were looking for... Wait. Aren't we looking for a key? I'm gonna run all the way down quickly first. Ah, dude. Nah, dude. Like, I'm trying to get as strong as possible, but uh, I don't think it matters right now. <laughs> Let's go up. Oh, my enemies. Watch out! This one's tough! You think? Like, what is your CP doing? Sub info. Whatever, let's, let's just put it like this. Rising! 
Whoa. 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 Okay. Okay. We have an auto. Okay, okay. Moving out. That's pretty nice, actually. You're finished. Yeah. An opening. My turn now. No. Firebolt. Fireball. This is not good. Return fire. I've got this. Let's do this. Nice. Could be double kill. Nice. Is that the link ability or something? Oh no no no, that was that was the other ability. Okay, now I see how that works. Right. Can I move a bit? Yes. I shouldn't have. Now's the time. There. Some great work out there, Ellie. We did it. Thanks in no small part to you, Lloyd. Ooh, level up, dude. Nice. I did it. There's more where that came from. There we go. <laughs> it's only natural. Is it natural? It's the way I like it, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to ask you about, Lloyd. Uh, you met with Ashen Caviar guy, right? Uh, what was that? Uh, what's he like in person? Uh, him? Is it the guy who uh, who pilots that extra pointy gray robot? Yes, his name is Rian as uh, uh, Squar Squarzer. Goodness, he has worn his name. I did some digging, and it seems like he was a student at uh, Thor's military academy, currently employed as an instructor at its branch campus. He practices eight leaves, one blade, style of swordsmanship. And he's a machine he pilots. What? And the machine he pilots is called the Divine Knight. I heard a few things about him uh, from some friends of mine in Eero Ebonia. Uh, but I'm not really sure uh, what to make of that guy. Not every everything uh, paints him as a real good light, you know? Uh, what do you mean? Well, in fact... <laughs> uh, the fact uh, that he uses some sort of demonic power in battle uh, for starters. And on top of that, uh, there's a rumor that he's a son of a, uh, of a blood and an iron counselor. Are you serious? That's the first I've heard of it. Well, the folks at Bracer Guild headquarters seems to be convinced it's the truth. But as far as I can tell, it seems like this Scorzor guy... Um, mostly been opposite, uh, opposing the counselor. Uh, either way, though, he's definitely involved with whatever's been going on behind the scenes in Arobia. No, yeah. Yes, nailed it. Uh, that's why we've been uh, tasked with collecting information about him as a part of this mission. To determine just how much power he wields. And what part of... Uh, what part it might play in the current events. Well, I didn't know him personally, but I don't think he's a bad person. 
I met one of uh, the former classmates once, and he seemed to hold him in a high regard. Well, hello, baby. Hmm, I've got a glimpse of him a couple of times. He's Randy's co-worker. And Juna's uh, home, uh, homeroom teacher, right? That's right, those two seem to like him. Uh, based on Taita's letter, he sounds like a big softy who can't stop himself from helping people. In, in her words, he puts his needs uh, of others before his, uh, his and looks after his students. Though I agree with the strange powers and relation to the counselor are uh, concerning. I've only run into him twice. Beyond that, I've heard about him in passing uh, from Randy and Tayo. I agree. There are so where, there are some details about him that are suspicious, but I think we can trust him. The same goes for his classmates and students in class seven. Uh, they're all doing their best. Uh, to, to clear away the dark clouds hanging over the co the continent, just like we are. You're right, Lloyd. That's uh, encouraging to hear. Uh, if you ask me, uh, you're a tad too quickly or too quick uh, to trust someone you barely know. Hey, it's fine. I'll trust Lloyd's judgment here. So let's believe that Mr. Squars on our side. It matches up with what Loy, uh, what uh, Toval told us, too. Besides, Class 7 was founded by Oliver. And he's a good judge of character. Also, he trained under the same master as my dad. So, I'm not too worried. I'm kind of curious to meet him now. But at the moment, our top priority is to find Taita and Agent. And a gant gate or something. Yeah, a gate. <laughs> it's okay. I get the feeling all that stuff's connected. Like uh, they're all puzzle pieces in the same uh, jigsaw. I hope so. Your optimism is uh, contagious, Kia. It really is. And she uh, usually ends up being right uh, when it comes to things like this. It's not quite the same as uh, when she had uh, the Sept Terrians power. D dude, the names. Uh, but she can still sense certain things. Yeah, it's kind of like rather than seeing the future, I can see the connections between things. Even so, that's amazing. Huh? So you can visualize, visualize casualty. That's still a pretty godlike power, if you ask me. <laughs> I might have a plan or two on how to uh, put it to good use. If you don't mind helping me out. Of course. Uh, just give me a word. Uh, let's keep moving. According to Jonah, uh, the main terminals on the top floor of this area. Uh, the data we're looking for is here. Uh, that's where we'll find it. That's... Uh, let's head straight here. Uh, straight there. <laughs> yes. Uh, don't... <laughs> don't let anything slow you down. I never do. I'm ready. Yeah. I almost feel bad for the golems on our path. Bro, that was like 10, 15, 20 minutes of dialogue. And then they're like, oh, no, no, we're wasting time. Bro, you already waste the time. Getting some com consumables. We should find ourselves lucky that this place isn't fully up and running right now. That's right. It would have taken us at least twice as long if it was. What's this? Rest? Sure. So this is where we can actually get some rest, get some full HP and stuff.
I wanna just save quickly. We'll save in slot two. I wanna do a fight, but purely in just auto. And see how much we're losing. Because this might be a boss fight coming up now. I remember playing uh, One Piece. Light show. I'd say this is it. Yes, this is where all that data from Heimdall ended up. Must have been installed recently. It wasn't here two years ago. Are you ready, Ren? But of course. But of course. All set up. I'll need your help for this next part, Kia. You got it. What should I do? According to Four Eyes, this terminal uses a system made with the same astral code that Ouroboros uses. It's a five-dimensional spirit code. A lifetime wouldn't be enough to try all the combinations. But with your help, we should be able to skip ahead 81 steps or so. Oh, I get it now. You want me to matricize the exterior of space-time, right? Exactly. Let's get started. Are these kids even speaking our language? The heck is a five-dimensional code? Astral code. Huh. It's the system Ouroboros uses for its communications. Right. And it seems the Kreuz family applied it to their ritual. I still don't understand why that data from Heimdall was sent here of all places. It's simple, really. It's because I requested it of the Governor General and a certain source. Oh. I couldn't even sense them coming. Are you? She's from the RMP. I'm Claire Revelt, Railway Military Police. I recognize the two of you, Lloyd Bannings and Ellie McDowell. You must be Estelle Bright, meaning the one with you is Joshua Bright, correct? Who? Now, you must have us mixed up with some other people. If it's all the same, I think we'll avoid confirming our identities for now. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I'm actually quite impressed you were able to pinpoint this terminal's location. I suppose the Faceless taught you well. What did you say? Wait, I recognize you. A key figure in Ouroboros' 13 Factories project, you led a team of gnomes in Erebonia. But then you betrayed the society to join forces with the Blood and Iron Chancellor, didn't you? Chief of the Black Workshop? <laughs> Precisely. I worked closely with the former Third Anguish of Ouroboros, the Faceless. I even had him test my automated miniature combat shells. He proved very useful in the Hommel project as well. Hard to believe that was 14 years ago. What are you talking about? Does that mean you helped the Professor start the Hundred Days War? Seems like there's still a lot of buried secrets. I'm guessing the data here is the key to dragging the rest of the skeletons out of your closet. Hmm. Yes, actually. If you can break the code, then by all means do whatever you wish with the data. Ah, however, before you can do that, you'll need to face the three of us. The Where's the third one? No way. There, everyone! Long time no see! <gasps> Why? What are you doing here, Belle? Hello. Oh, don't be like that. It's been a while since we've seen each other. Two years or so. And it looks like you're up to your neck in trouble. Just like I knew you'd be. Belle! So you finally come back to Crossbell. 
But what are you doing with these two? Should you be fighting the Imperial government? Oh? Did you not get the memo? Ouroboros is now allied with Mr. Blood and Iron, or... Perhaps it would be more accurate to say Ouroboros surrendered to him. <laughs> say what? Since when does the society just roll over like that? If that's the case, then what happened in Heimdall? Yes, it was a declaration of the alliance between Chancellor Osborne and Ouroboros. The beginning of the Great Twilight. The Great Twilight? That's one heck of a creepy name. Oh, now I get it. So that's what that weird black wave was. Oh, you could see it even though you lost your powers as a Septarian? My family's little pet project continues to impress. He is not just some project. It's okay, Ellie. It's true that I started out as a project. But that aside, there are some things I'm grateful to Belle for. It's thanks to her that I was able to meet you, Lloyd, and everyone else. Ah, uh, Kia. I'm glad we met too, Kia. You really have grown up, and in such a short time. In any event, I'm surprised to see the Bright family here too. I'm particularly pleased to meet you, number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. The pleasure's all mine. I've been wanting to meet the one who took that twisted professor's spot. I can tell at a glance, you're somehow even more rotten than he was. Oh dear me! Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. Forget about her, Red. Agreed. Right now we need to focus on getting that data. And if they're here to stop us, we won't hesitate to fight back! Ren! Kia! Don't worry. We'll take care of them. <laughs> oh, is that so? We'll just see about that now, won't we? What the? He's showing his balls already for us. The combat shell. Though it's different from the kind the professor used. That black rabbit girl had one of those things too. One might refer to this one as the origin of the other models you've seen. It's been quite some time since I last tested Zoa Balor in battle. I'm very curious to see how it performs against the Divine Blade's daughter, two former Enforcers, and the SSS. Rosenberg dolls! You made the old man's dolls into your minions? Oh, I just couldn't help myself being an alchemist and all. We may both play with dolls, but my tea parties are a little more deadly than yours. Please, both of you. That's enough playing around. We're wasting time. Huh? That emblem? I am the Icy Maiden, Claire Revelt. On my authority as a member of the Iron Bloods, you're all under arrest for illegally accessing a restricted area. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! Activate combat links! We will overcome this, no matter what! I trust you'll provide me with some valuable data. Apprehending fugitives! <laughs> Do try and make this entertaining! I am. Produce all enemy HP uh, to a certain amount. I'm gonna just click on auto and see how things will go. Let's see. Flowing on and open it. Won't let you. The dark. Keep One is dead already. Wow. Everyone. Keep it up. Keep it up. Now it's my mortal marine. Keep it up. Return fire. Twilight Light! But it's so fast, it's not even a joke. Yeah, they're off guard. <laughs> so 
Opa! Yeah, I see you! Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! The auto doesn't work. Yeah. I see you! I think it doesn't work. Thanks! Fire! Now's my mode on the right! Not here! Now's the time! I'm impressed. Are you? I'm sorry, everyone. And one, one we what? How many is left? Return to fire. So three. No way. If you insist. Take this. Ouch. Ouchy. Okay, this uh. By flowing. Hmm. Uh, uh, it can't be. The party was wiped out. Retry. Okay. Um. We will never. We will never do auto again. Well, maybe. Maybe not on bosses. Let me just say that. Won't let you. Everybody, clap your hands. Keep it up. I've got this. Now's my chance. Mortal Mirage. Take this. It's my turn. Holy bullet restores HP. Stay strong, everyone. <laughs> Help me out now. But my teammates confused. Ready to go! What else to do? Style for physical, two turns. Creates a double ganger. You're finished! Yes! <clears throat> they were stalled. Not a chance! Huh? Satanic claw! <laughs> How's that? Let's go! Zero breaker. It reduces their defense. Zero breaker! Ready to go! We could just attack, right? Attack art. HP absorb. Blind. Your link. Implode takes enemy by surprise. Power break takes the enemy by surprise.
Nightmare. Twilight Lightning. Burn through! Not a chance! Now's my chance! Mortal Mirage! I'm sorry, everyone. Wait, what? 7,000 damage? Can we do also 7k? This is our first time attacking this whole game now, by the way. I wanna get this guy. Let's see our item. We need something that maybe can revive, I think. Oh, increases stats. Okay. Revive, there we go. So a Balor, strike! Don't give in! Thanks! Moving out! Okay, we need one big heal right now. Restores all HP, cures, chaos, restores. Man! Is it just this guy, though? They could choose who you want to. So we'll give the 12,000 heal. I wish I could see on the right side who it is. It's the woman with white hair. This one. Okay. Yes. And then you have an ability. To heal, right? Oh, we, we can't heal. So you'll also just heal then. Restores 3000 HP. No, 6000. So a guy. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Return fire! I've got this! Okay, Black Fang. This should be fine. Yes! An opening. Let's go, Let's Estelle. Go, Estelle. Leave it to me. Dude. Leave it to me. Holy bullet. Let's heal everyone. Stay strong, everyone. Thanks. 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 <laughs> Help me out now, would you? Chance. Now's my chance! Mortal Mirage! 
twilight lightning burn through! Not a chance! <clears throat> nice. Ready to go! I will not falter again! Rest in peace. Yeah. I'm impressed. However, <laughs> I suppose I should have expected as much, Ali. My turn now. Yeah. Barrage. It reduces defense. I don't think it matters what we do right now. I think it's also gonna jump away soon. Alright, uh, we'll just do this then. Leave it to me. Fall to darkness! Watch him kill my whole team now. Better than I could have asked for. My pleasure. Okay. Better than Otto. The last Matrix is finished. Nice. I've disabled the data protection. Access granted. Beginning download of classified data. Oh my. <laughs> I am certainly impressed. <laughs> After all we went through, that better not be just a bunch of junk data. I doubt it. I don't think they had the time to set us up under these circumstances. But the way they're acting, it's like they don't really care if we get this info. But why? Why go to such lengths to cover things up and then let us learn the truth? The truth about what happened in Heimdall, both on the surface and behind the scenes. <laughs> Simple. Because we already achieved our goals there two weeks ago. <laughs> it doesn't make the slightest difference if you learn the details. There's no way to change the outcome. Oh. Download complete. We got it. We've secured an escape route. Let's move. Ren, Kia, grab your stuff and start running. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. It was good to see you again, Belle. However, you're the absolute worst. <laughs> Why, thank you. I wholeheartedly agree. Love you, Ellie. We'll see each other again soon. <sighs> ah, that was quite an entertaining encounter. It's not every day you meet so many interesting people. Though it seemed like there was a touch of drama near the end. I suppose so. It's a bit of a long story. But what's between me and the SSS is none of your concern. Don't worry, it won't stop me from helping with the Great Twilight and the rivalries. Though I'm none too pleased about having to work alongside someone who stole hundreds of years of technology from my family. <sighs> <laughs> I take it you're talking about the homunculus technology? Well, you don't have any grounds to complain there. After all, where did the technology for your cradle come from? On top of that, your use of septium veins for the Wisdom Project seems suspiciously familiar. Oh, touché! 
Perhaps we make a good team after all. Ah, pardon me. Lecter? Yes, everything is proceeding as planned. Please keep a close eye on the Bracer HQ and the SSS officers' movements. The Icy Maiden, hmm? She certainly piqued my interest. Despite her title, it's clear she can only just barely hold her feelings in. She's walking a thin tightrope. Well, many events have transpired in such a short time. Events both fateful and final that cannot be undone. Right. You take care, too. Huh. I haven't checked my private orb mails in a while. This one is from... two weeks ago. Sup, Claire? I'm probably about to get crazy busy with work soon, so I figured I should send you this now. It's that picture we took together in Heimdall. I probably should have sent it sooner, but, well, I forgot. Uh, it's from when Reen and Milliam helped me with that undercover operation. Afterward, we went to go get ice cream together and... That phone is huge, dude. What the heck? Adios. This is what really happened in Heimdall? I can't believe this. And then that Schwarzer guy killed a holy beast with it. And as a result, the Great Twilight began. And the curse of the end spread throughout the Empire. The third survivor of Hamel? So he was alive after all. How could we not have noticed? We left him behind. Looking at all this, it's clear this war won't just be between Erebonia and Calvert. Every country on the entire continent will be pulled in and devoured. Hmm. A lot of crazy stuff happened in Heimdall, but I still believe Tio and Randy are okay. The same for your friends, Tita and Agate. And all of those Class 7 guys, too. Thank you, Kia. Yeah, I know they're just fine. You took another peek at causality, didn't you? I don't know how reliable that is, but it makes me feel a little better. All right, everyone. Now that we have this, we've got a long road ahead of us. Let's get started. So let's do this. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully not too much reading. I can feel it incoming. The way things are now, war will be in full swing within two months at the latest. If the details about this curse are true, anyway. Yes. I thought it would take at least half a year after conscription started. But if supernatural forces are at work, it may happen much more swiftly. We're gonna go report this info to Guild HQ and the Burl's royal family. How about you guys? We'll share the intel with Calvert and Remiferia. Fortunately, some of our allies happen to be there right now. You mean the Divine Blade of Wind and Yin? Her, her voice is so familiar. We've got our own allies to get in touch with. It's going to be a pain tracking them down. Maybe, but we're gonna find them no matter what! I think she's in Final Fantasy. No, no, she's in Kingdom Hearts 3. The little doll thing that wakes Sora up. If each of us helps the others out, if we're all a guiding light for each other, we'll be dozens, no, hundreds of times stronger. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, you're absolutely right. Be each other's guiding light, huh? I like the sound of that. Sounds pretty sappy to me, but I guess I get the idea. That's the right idea for sure, Kia. 
And I'm proud of you, Ren. If you get it, then that means you've really matured. Ugh, cut it out, Estelle. I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> You'll always be our little sister. Aw, how sweet. <laughs> we can definitely do this. We have to, to protect what matters to each of us. There's no way we're letting this world come to an end. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, it's hard to say what Class Seven's next move's going to be. But we'll do whatever we can to be a guiding light for them, too. They're clearly not running fast enough if they fist bump each other and have full-blown conversations without breathing. <laughs> Nihon, Falcon presents. Wait, was this the intro? Two hours intro of a game? Goodness. There's the guy that were, they were talking about that had worn his surname. I doubt. Why does he look so much evil? Yeah, we can save. And proceed. You now wake up. That was me in school, also. Sleeping in class? <laughs> Were you up late last night or something? No, I was just playing lava video games. Yes, she was reading cookbooks and looking up recipes well past midnight. Uniforms. <laughs> you still dreaming or what? I bet she was having a lovely dream about whoever it is she's planning to cook for. Mm. Muse and Ash too? Hold on. How are you here, Ash? Didn't you... Goodness, would you all please simmer down? Class is about to start. We need to snap out of it and focus. Huh? Ada and Fritz? You guys are supposed to be at the main campus. What's going on? Why are you two here? 
You really are out of it, aren't you? Did you hit your head or something? What? Crown Prince Cedric? What are you doing here? Are you serious? Maybe you did hit your head after all. I'm here waiting for class to start. We're classmates now, remember? <sighs> did you seriously forget? The main and branch campuses being merged? All our classes being rearranged? His Highness, Ada and Fritz were added to Class 7. But that was two weeks ago. <laughs> They've only been here two weeks, but these scrubs are already acting like they own the place. Watch your mouth. I won't allow you to disrespect His Highness like that. Well, anyway, the fact that we were all at about the same point in the curriculum made things easy. True. The transfer was fairly smooth, all things considered. Huh. <sighs> oh, uh, I guess that rings a bell, now that you mention it. Uh, <laughs> man, I must have just had some crazy dream or something. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Huh? Who are they? Okay. Uh, class 7. Looks like you're all here, so we're going to start with today's announcements. Sorry, everyone. We still don't have a homeroom teacher for you yet. But the two of us are going to support you as much as we can. So please, give it your all. Thank you, Instructor Mary. You as well, Instructor Makarov. Anyway, today's class schedule. First off, we've got applied info processing. He sounds very fun to learn from. That's right. We don't have a homeroom teacher, huh? Ah, shoot. I need to focus on the lesson. Those days I spent at Thor's were so warm and fulfilling. I was surrounded by my friends and classmates. They were all so brilliant and talented, I could barely keep up. But together, we all supported each other and pushed each other to grow. And not just when it came to academics. We gave our clubs and our personal lives everything we had, too. For some reason, I couldn't shake the feeling something was missing. A voice that guided us. One that was calm, but carrying way too many burdens. It was a little pushy from time to time, but you could feel the kindness behind it. Like pressing the bite. Someone who had gone through a lot, despite not being much older than us. Like pressing the like button? But like whose that voice? voice could it have been? I couldn't remember. It was me. Push the like button. Jonah, 
Your mind seems to be elsewhere today. Are you worried about something? Oh, yeah, sorry. You know, you've really grown up, Ellie. You never would have picked up on something like that back when you first came here. <clears throat> Understanding such emotional intricacies has taken a great amount of effort. But I owe much of that, of what I learned to you and, um... Ali? Wait, you too? Me, me too? What? I joined Thor's branch campus as a part of my work with the Intelli intelligence division. And then I... I met him again. She's talking about that war with Swiss. I got a plan. I get, uh, uh, let's get out of here, Ali. Uh, where are we going? We're going to feel any better starting at these four. What? We're not going to get f feel better by staring at these four walls. Uh, we have to stick to the dorms uh, with how late it is. But I think there's enough fresh air out there to clear our heads. Why don't we go and chat w uh, with Kurt and the others? They shouldn't be asleep yet. Okay. I'll come with you. All right, let's go. Let us do it. Your current story objective is always displayed. You can press down button, okay, to expand the minimap. Press down to expand the minimap to see you. Okay, cool. That's pretty nice. But I'm pretty sure in the next part I'm gonna forget, right? A photo of Juna and her family sits on display. A photo taken uh, with a toy camera sits on display. A toy camera took that photo. Are you serious? Good news. Let's get changing, girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys, this is where part two is going to end. I just want to talk a little bit about how stuff works on this channel. Because people still have the misconception of things. I can see everything, whether a, a a series do well, whether it gets views, likes, uh, watch duration. Like, even if you skip videos, like, let's say, for example, you skip five minutes, ten minutes ahead. I can see all of that within the analytics. I'm going to calculate what videos or what series does the best. I'm going to finish those series. The, the ones... Okay. Chill, woman. The ones that don't do well, we won't finish. It's, it's literally that simple. So... Even though I finish recording a game, doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to upload the full game. Right? Uh, if let's say for example there's ten parts and part and part three Shush woman and part three does bad. The uh, the final seven parts will become member only videos. Um, unless someone donates five dollars, then we'll ex then we'll scrape everything. Uh, and don't care about the views, watch time, likes, or anything like that. We will finish the game from start to end. So yeah, that is something you guys need to understand. Right? Just because we start a game doesn't necessarily mean we'll finish it. Hopefully, this explains things a little bit better. But if this series, or if this video and the part one does well enough, we will continue on with the game until it's finished. If it does well, if every part does well. My goodness. If you want more information, just check the introduction video of this channel. Just click on my name, uh, Let's Play Master, and watch the video that's at the top. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day supporting the channel. If you want to support a little more, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next video. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye.